Okay, so we have a question right here. Uh, let me get started. Okay, now, so this is questions. Let's start to the question number nine. So they want the solution set. And what do you mean about solution set? I'll show you how to get the solution set for this question. It's very easy, okay? So now, I'm going to say, let me rearrange in the right form of quadratic. So this is going to go to the right because I want it to be in the form of AX squared plus BX plus C. So the face number one, AX squared. So this is 9X squared. So take everything to the right. So you have left with 0 equal to. And then 9X squared is going to be 9X squared exactly. So this is going to come after because we have X squared plus BX. So this positive, when it goes over, it's going to become negative. So it's going to be negative 5, 15X. And this negative, when you go over equal sign, it's going to become positive 4. Okay? Next step. Uh, let's uh, factorize this. So this I'm going to say 0 equal, I'm going to write my two bracket here, and then let's go step by step. How do we get 9x? 9x this is with 3x and this must be x. Okay? Now, uh, how do you get uh, 4? 4, we know this must be 4 and this should be 1 here. Okay? And no, this will be minus, this will be minus. Let's see. 3 times x, 3x squared, and this, this will be negative 4x. Okay, oh, this and this, 3x squared, and this and this, negative 3x. Negative 3, and no, this must be 3. Oh my god. So, let me see what do I make mistake here. This must be 3x. Yes, because 3x and 3x, 9x squared. So, this and this, 9x squared, and this and this. Uh, mm, okay, this and this, 9x squared, negative 3, negative 12, negative 15. Yeah, that's perfect. Sorry about that. Now, so this equal to 0, so 3x minus 4 equal to 0, or 3x minus 1 equal to 0. So this is going to go over, so 3x, 3x equal to positive 4 divided by x divided by x, so x equal to 1 over 4. Or for this one, over 1 is going to go over, so it's going to be 3x equal to 1 divided by 3 divided by 3, so x equal to 1 over 3. So the value of x equal to 1 over 4, or 4 over 3, excuse me, here. Okay, so now this is going to go over, let's go step by step, this go over, it's going to become 3x equal to positive 4 divided by 3 divided by 3 divided by 3 divided by 3, x equal to 4 over 3, or now this is going to be 3x equal to 1 divided by 3 divided by 3, so x equal to 1 over 3. So you got your x's already, so these are your solution sets. So your solution set meaning, start with the smaller to the biggest, is you write, you write your curly bracket like this, and then you write the first one, 1 over 3, and then you write the second 4 over 3. But before we say this is actual solution set, it's very important you must take this value of x and plug in here. And the one you're going to get on the left, it must be equal to the right, and then that's going to be your solution set. But if one of these does not give us the equality, then take that one out. Let's test now. Take 4 over 3 here. So if you put 4 over 3, look, 15 times 4 over 3. By 3, 1 by 3, 5. Half times 4 equal to 20. 20 minus 4 equal to 16. So on the left hand side equal to 16. Let's see if the right hand side is going to give us what? 16. Now 9, 9 times, okay, x squared means 4 over 3 squared. 4 squared equals 16. Over 3 squared equal to 9. Look, 9, 9 cancels so 16. Yes, left hand side. This is not supposed to be negative 16. This is a positive 16, my problem. So, positive 16 because 20 minus 4 equals 16. 16 equal to 16 because 9, 9 cancel. So, this, this is solution set. So, you have to do the same thing to test for the other one so we can confirm. But if one of them, let's say this does not work, and then don't write this as solution set. So, when you say set, it means you have to go back and see right hand side equal to the left hand side. Now, so this one, yes, we have checked, is true solution set. Now, we'll get to 1 over 3. If you put 1 over 3 here, it's going to be 15 times 1 over 3 equal to 5. 5 minus 4 equal to 1. So left hand side equal to 1. Now we want to see on the right hand side. Now right hand side, this is going to be 9. 9 times 1 over 3. 1 square equal to 1. 3 square equal to 9. So 9 times 1 over 9 equal to 1. Left hand side equal to right hand side. I hope you understand what I say here. Because look, it's 9 times 1 over 3 square. This is going to be 3 over 9. So 9 times... Uh, 1 over 9, I mean 1 over 9, this and this cancel equal to 1, 1 equal to 1, so yes, it is solution set of the question, 
So our solution set is this. 1 over 3 and 4 over 3. So do not confirm when you do it a FaceTime and say, oh, this is my solution set. No. Go back and test it again and see if it's going to satisfy both equations. Left hand side, you should be to right hand side. So now let's go to the question number 10. So now they give us like similar question but with the inequality. And then uh, they say find the solution. Okay, easy. So how you do it? Okay, so first and foremost, you have to solve normal as a quadratic. So this is gonna go to the left. So it's gonna be four x squared, okay, four x squared. And then four x squared, uh, let me do a little bit lower, maybe you might not see. Okay, it's gonna be four x squared, and then this come back, it's gonna be minus five. Go over, inequality sign, and then plus one. And then we have greater or equal to zero. So now we have to solve and factorize the quadratic, right? Okay, now, let's write our bracket, and then we know it's greater or equal to zero. So now let's test. To get 4x squared, this must be 4x, and this must be x. To get positive 1, we know this must be 1 and 1, and this must be negative and negative. See, you can factorize. We know how to factorize. If you don't know how to, go to my other video. You can take the basics of factorization. So you can equate equal to zero. So 4x minus 1 equal to zero, or greater or equal to zero, greater or equal to zero, and this will be 1, or this one x minus 1 and greater or equal to 0. Now, this is going to go over. So it's going to be 4x, greater or equal to 0. So this is going to be 4x. And this is going to be greater or equal to 0. Greater or equal to 1 because this go over. The better before the better before. So x greater or equal to 1 over 4. Okay, now let's go for the other one. For the other one, this is going to go over. So it's going to become x greater or equal to 1. So this is not your final answer. I'll tell you why. You're going to have to test now. Like I say, you have to taste on your number line to see which one is going to be true, which is not going to be equal to true. So we're going to draw a number line here. Draw your number line. And plug your value. Okay. Equal or greater than 1 over 4 and 1. So 1 over 4 we know is on the left. Let's say this is 0. This is 1. So if this is 1, let's say. I don't remember it's equal. That's why I put this. Okay. That's what is included. And now this is like say uh, x. Okay, just write 1 over 1 for the face value of x. The other one is 1 over 4 somewhere here. 1 over 4. Let's write like this. So what we're going to do, oh my god, this is 1 here. 1, 1 over 4. So what we're going to do, we're going to have to taste and see which value is going to be true. I'm going to take the value between 1 over 4 and 1 and plug in equation and test if it's going to be true or not. And they will take less than quarter. And they will take greater than one to see where our solution is going to be like. Okay. Which value is less than quarter? Any value. I'll take zero. Zero we know is less than quarter in the number line. Look. One over four, zero, negative. You can take zero or negative one. I don't like to give myself a hard time. I'm going to take easy number, zero. Put zero here. Four times zero equal to zero. Plus one, one. Okay, so if x equal to 0 on the left hand side, is going to be 1. Now, we want to see if it's true, it's going to be greater or, uh, or equal to, what is our x we say is 0, 5 times 0 equals to 0. Is it true 1 is greater or equal to 0? Oh yes, 1 is bigger than 0, so this is true. So if we take a number before quarter, we see it's giving us true now, true answer. But to verify, take one more so you can feel like satisfied, just in case maybe you made a mistake. So you want to be in the right or safe position, okay? Now, let me check negative 1. If I take negative 1, negative 1 means in the position of x is going to be negative 1. Negative 1 squared equal to positive 1. Times 4, positive 4. Plus 1, positive 5. So here it's going to be positive 5. So now, we say we take negative 1, right? 5 times negative 1, negative 5. So is it neg if it's positive 5 bigger or equal to 5? Yes, it's bigger. Oh, so we have confirmed it's true. Anything less than quarter is true. Now let's take in between. Between quarter 
and one. Which number is between them? Let's say half. A half is between this number. A half. Now, let's plug in a half here and see if it's true or not. If I put a half here, it's going to be four times. A half is going to be like uh, one over two, and then we square because we must square. We plug in here square. One square, one. Two square, four. Plus one. Now, four by four, one. One plus one equal to two. So all on the left hand side is going to be two here. The left hand side is going to be what? It's going to be two. Now we go to the right hand side. Okay, we plug which number we say? A half between quarter and one. Okay, so right hand side is going to be five times a half. Five times one equals five divided by two is going to be two and a half. So, is it two bigger or equal to two and a half? No, no, no. Two is not bigger than two and a half. So, we see in between is not true. But you can take your time and taste another number. But I've shown you. Now, let's go to the number which is bigger than one. Two. I'm not going to go to the one thousand. Why should I do it? Let me take two. So, for two, let me take two for example. Two, you know, is bigger than one. For two, is going to be, if you take 2, this is going to be 2 square equal to 4. 4 times 4 16. Plus 1, 17. Also, oh, it's going to be 17 if you take 2. Now, let's go to the right. We want to see if it's greater or equal. 2 times 5 equal to 10. Is 17 bigger than, seven, uh, than 10? Yes, it's true. So, here also is true. Oh, so we see the value of x is going to be less than 1 over 4 and greater than 1. But I also, I have to take exactly... 1 and 4. You see what I'm saying? 1 over 4, so we want to taste, so that we know, because we know now the value is going to start from 1 over 4 and less, and 1 and big, because these are values which are satisfied our equation. But now the question is, okay, this is, okay, the question is, am I going to write uh, x less than 1 over 4 or less or equal? That could be the question you might ask me. So now we're going to have to taste is a 1 over 4 into the original equation to see 1 over 4 if it's going to give the accurate. So if it give us yes, they are equal left and right, then it's going to be less or equal. So we must say less or equal because it's this side. So x is less or equal to 1 over 4. Or is it going to be 1 over 4 with no equal? So let's test the 1 over 4 into our equation. Now, so we're going to say here, put 1 over 4 here, it's going to be 4 times, okay? It's going to be 4 times, okay, 1 over 4. But I will square. When you square 1, it's going to give you 1. When you square 4, it's going to give you because you must square. Square 4 is going to give you 16. Okay, so we don't have a square anymore. By 4, 1 by 4 is going to be 4. So it's 1 over 4. 1 over 4 plus 1 is going to be 5 over 4. Or you can say 1 and quarter. 1 and 1 and quarter. So if you plus 1, when you plug in 1 over 4 here, it's going to give you 1, 1 over 4. Or you can say 5 over 4. Now we want to see on the right hand side. 5 times 1 over 4, yeah, it's going to give you also 5 over 4, which is 1, 1 over 4. Yes, it's true that 1 over 4 is greater or equal to 1, 1 over 4. Because they say it's greater or equal. Yes, it's equal because 1, 1 over 4 is equal to 1, 1 over 4. Even though it's greater, but there's an equal to greater or equal. Yes, it's true. Okay, so how are we going to say x is less or equal to 1 over 4? That's the first answer. Now, we want to go and taste for 1. If you plug here, 1 square equal to 1 plus 4 equal to 4. 1 square equal to 1 times 4 equal to 4 plus 1 equal to 5. Okay. 5 times 1, 5. Yes, 5 is equal or greater than 5. is true. So, we're going to say our answer is going to be x less or equal to 1 over 4. Or x is greater or equal to uh, 1. So that's going to be our, our answer. Okay? So this is going to be our answer here. Okay? So I can write down top. So it can be very clear. But I use a number line. So you can show all of them. If it's a solution, something you have to show as a solution, show all your work. Even everything you taste, make sure you show. So I'm going to say X is what is less than 1 over 4, equal, less or equal, or x is greater or equal to 1. We have tested. And you can show your number line here. Say 1 over 4, and then you can say, do this, do this, show something. And this is 1. And what you can do here, show this, means this is my answer. And they say this is including because it also gives us the 
answer. I hope it's clear, right? But here it was not. So you see, that's why I highlight, I highlight my arrow, but here I didn't write anything, just a normal line. The red line meaning x is less or equal to 1 over 4. This goes all the way. And this, including x is greater or equal to 1. But here I didn't write anything, just my normal line. So if they say write it in terms of uh, this, you can write like that, but in terms of uh, number line, you could write like that. See? So this is going to be our answer. All this. So write that one because let me see number line. Okay. Now let's go to question number 11. Let me see if it does record. Yes, it does record. Okay, question number 11. Okay, question number 11 is easy. So what I'm going to do, uh, let's say which of the following statement, which of the following statement is correct, is or are true. So this is what I'm going to do, right? So I'm going to say x squared, I got x squared here, minus a squared equal to zero. So we want to see if it's going to be true or not. Okay, so now I can take this over. I uh, can just say x squared equal to a squared, and then I can square root here. And I can square it there. So x equal plus or minus a. You see what I'm saying? It's like saying somebody give you x square equal to 9. So what you gonna do? x square minus 9 equal to 0. So I can just uh, take over, excuse me. x square equal to 9 and they square root and they square root. So x equal to plus or minus 3. So x equal plus or minus 3. So we wanna see, but for now it's plus or minus a. So why did it give us like that? Look here. So let's assume our a equal to uh, 3. Let's just say 3 like here. Look, if somebody give you negative 3 and somebody give you absolute, this is what we call absolute. If somebody give absolute of 3, anything, when you take either negative or positive and you plug in an absolute, it always comes positive. So this negative 3 is going to become positive 3. Even this is just a positive 3. That's the wake of the absolute. Okay? So now, but now, the funny thing, you see how they give us here? They did not say this negative is inside. No. If somebody give me negative, absolute of 3. This is going to be negative 3. Because you know why? This 3 is going to give me 3. Because this negative is not inside the absolute. It's outside. So this is going to give me 3. And we still have a negative, which is outside. But if it was like this... And then this was going to give me positive because this is, is inside. So when it comes out here, it must be positive. But for this case, it was just a positive. So here, all of this, when you say negative A, this same is a negative, just a negative, is outside the absolute. And this A is going to give me A. So this is still negative A. So this is negative A, and this is when it's going to be A. So which is true. Because like A negative and A positive, which is this. So this is true. The first option is true. Now let's go for the option two. For the option two, uh, so we will say, uh, let's make some space here. Option two. We want to see if it's true or it's not true. So option two, uh, nine equation, so nine y cube, I mean, minus 25 y equal to zero. So we want to see if that is solution set of this equation. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to expand it. I will do factorization. So we know we can factor out y here because y is common. If you factor y here, I'm going to be left with nine y square minus 25 is nine square equal to zero because y is common y is common but for number we don't have a number which is common so for that case i'm going to say this equal to zero and this equal to zero so y equal to zero or nine y square minus 25 equal to zero so this i take over it's going to be nine y square equal 25 let me write this okay 
nine y five equal to twenty five. Divide by nine, divide by nine. So divide by nine, divide by nine. So it's going to be twenty five over nine. And then I'm going to square it. And I'm going to square it. So the value of y is going to be y equal to plus or minus. When you square root 25, it's going to give you 5. When you square root 9, you get 3. You see, you can even separate. Say, oh, I can separate square root of 25 and square root of 9. And this is going to give me 5 and this will give me 3. But a plus or minus or plus or minus. So our solution set is going to be, because they asked, they say solution set. A solution set is going to be, what is the face on? We know it's going to be, because this is 0. Oh my god, my pen is getting full now. So we have a 0, and then we have a negative 5 over 4, and then positive 5 over 4. So which is the smallest one? The smallest one is going to be negative 5 over 4, 5 over 3, and then 0, because negative 5 over 3, and then 0, and then 5 over 3. So this is going to be our solution set, and you can even take this value and plug in, it's going to be true. Look, if you take 0, 0 times y cube 0, 0, 0 equal to 0. Yes, it's true. Take negative 5 over 3 is going to give you the same thing. Left and right is going to be true. You can test it. We know how to test solution set. So our solution set, this is not complete. Because you know why? They forgot 0. But like I say, take all the value, test in your original question. And the one which satisfies shows left hand side equal to the right hand side. That's your solution set. And for now, if you take all of the three, take this, negative 5 over 3, plug it in here, y, cube it times 9 minus, take the same thing, plug in here, it's going to give you 0 here, 0 to 0. Take this, look, 0 times whatever, 0 to, take 5 3 is going to give you the same answer. So the only thing, this is not true because they forgot 0 here. So since is, uh, is, uh, the condition is unsatisfied because we see all of them, they satisfied, but this person here forgot. So if since it forgot, it was a tricky. So it's not true. Let's go to the last one. The last one is actually easy. It's obvious. If somebody give you 2x equal to 4, how you get the value of x? I just divide by 2, divide by 2. And this and this cancel, x equal to 4 divided by 2 equal to 2. Now let's come to this uh, question here. So for this question here, let's say x sub 0 equal to 0. Okay, let's see. Let's do the same procedure and see if it's true or it's not true. Now you got x times 0, they say equal to 0, right? Now, let's see. Divide by, because you want to get the value of x, let's divide by 0. If you divide by 0, divide by 0, this is going to be undefined. So, x, 0 divided by 0 is going to be undefined. Even here, look. This is going to be a determinant. So, for that case, it's not true. You see? So, the solution set is not, it's not true. It's, un, it's undefined. You see? So, this is not true. It's false. So my only option is going to be only option one. So now I'm going to go for the last equation. For the last equation now, let's go. Let me get another pen, just a second, guys. Get another pen here, quick. There's another pen, just a second, guys. Just a second, right? Just a second, there we go. Let me get another pen. Got it. Hey, okay. So the solution set only is going to be the face one. Now, let's go for the last one. Uh, I think I can just do here. Okay. They say the sum of the largest and the smallest of the number is... Come on. This is easy, guys. Which is the biggest one here? The biggest one is this one. You know why? Because this is... How many two in, in three? Is one and they'll be left with one and a half. But this, how many three in four? How many three in four? Let's see. So for me, this is the biggest. Because this is smaller. You know why this is smaller than this? Because look, this is smaller. How many three and four? One, and I'll be left with one over three. So look, one over three and a half, a half is bigger. One over three is too small. It's not even a half of it. See? So this is bigger. And what about the smallest one? The smallest is going to be this one. You see, you can change this to decimal and then you see which is smallest. This is smaller than this. Because look, if you have a number line like this, number line. This is zero. Let's say this is negative one, this is negative two, this is negative three. Which is the smallest one? The more you go to the left, the more your number gets smaller. Excuse me. Sorry, 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 sorry. My light just fell. 
Apollos. Just basically. So the more you go to the left, your numbers get more smaller. Just a second, guys. Just a second, guys. Something went wrong here. I had an accident a little bit, you know. Okay. The more. Okay, let me just check if it does record. Yeah, sorry about the accident, guys. Sorry about the accident. The more you go to the left, the more you get number, your number gets smaller. Meaning, this is smaller than this. See? And the more you go to the right, you get it bigger. So, this is smaller than this. Means negative one is bigger compared to negative two. So, you have to remember that. The more you go right, the more your number is getting bigger. The more you go to the left, your number gets smaller. So, for that case, if I look at this two, if I had to change to decimal, this may say negative 0 0.25. And if I change to this one, this is going to be negative 0 point, negative 0 point uh, 3, 3, somewhere there. So, which is more smaller? This is going to be more smaller because it's more to the left. See? So you have to look on, okay, look. Oh, uh, one more, right, okay. Okay, this is my number line here. Zero. Negative 0 point 0.25 is going to come face here. Negative 0 point 0.25. And this is going to be negative 0 point 0.3. Three. Can't you see this more smaller because the more you go to the left? So for that case, this is the more smallest and this is the biggest. So I have to add them together. Let's add now. Uh, when you add this, negative 1 over 3 plus 3 over 2. And this is going to give me uh, negative 1 over 3, 3 over 2. Okay, see here. Oh, man. Okay, can you just do it quick with me. Okay, let's go. Now, 2 times 3. Equal to two times three equal to negative two plus this and this equal to nine over two. This is gonna be seven over over two. Seven no 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 excuse me sorry so sorry this and this negative two plus this and this equal to nine and then multiply this two is gonna give me equal to six. Okay, this is gonna be seven over six. You can plug in the calculator if you don't know how to do fraction, seven over six. So all this stuff when you add small and the big is gonna give you seven over six. So the answer of this one is going to be 7 over 6. After adding the smaller and the bigger, which is negative 1 over 3, plus 3 over 3 over 2, is give us all 7 over 6. Look, some of you might be new here, right? So make sure you leave a comment. I'm going to respond to your comments. Share this video. Like. If you're new here, subscribe. So that, you know, click the like button. So that, you know, the more you click the like button, means it's... Uh, is the video is going to be recommended and it's going to reach to more people who need the help just like you did and you get to learn this video. Thanks a lot. I believe you learn how to do things uh, and identify my mistakes and my strengths as well and thanks a lot for your time. Man. Peace. I'm out.